Hello everyone, how's it going? It's your boy Yasuki Judge, and we are here with some more Dokkan Battle news. So if you guys have not hit that like button, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. That way you get notified when we go live and put up more videos. So we do have a lot of juiciness to talk about here because <laughs> Birdman hands on that one. But we do have Dokkan now, uh, the time, the start, and stuff like that for us. So I'm having a little bit of issues with this one because if you go back and look at this right now, there's some juiciness in this. But it says it's the 28th, and it's also... Uh, at 13 uh, times so it's kind of like uh, I actually went back over and looked at time zone and stuff like that so I don't know if that's supposed to be uh, 6 uh, for Eastern European time because it's not actual you know in like the actual United States sort of time where it's Eastern, Western, Central stuff like that it's actual Central European time and they're 6 hours ahead so if it's 6 for them there then I guess it would be 12 which would line up because it would still be technically uh, before that changeover uh, and they go live, it still would be the 28th, which is on the Friday. But it's like, okay, so would we get the banners, obviously, that night and maybe like 1 or 2 o'clock uh, or 2.30, whatever day to change over or something like that, or literally right after. Because if that's going to be the case and that's going to be, you know, where I'm fine with it, I'll probably, you know, sleep and stay up to do, obviously, do Dokkan now and stuff like that and, and maybe summon then. So that's actually really great and if you're still following me right now if well, since it is a 28th and this and the worldwide celebration does start or the 350 million dollar whichever you want to call it um since it does start the 26th and the banners and we're getting dokkan now the 28th like i pretty much said so we're gonna have that two day gap where there's gonna be a bunch of new events and stuff like that so you can literally farm out all those free to play dragon stones so before anyone asks when the banners drop and stuff like that like We'll get Dokkan now, and then usually they follow up, and the banners drop right after Dokkan now, whether it be a little bit of time or immediately right after. So just know that. And yeah, the 28th is when we're seeing it. So we will be live the 28th to literally do Dokkan now. So again, if you want to subscribe to the channel, be a part of that. Subscribe, turn on notifications. But so there's some big juiciness in this one. And if you, I haven't showed you guys before, but I kind of recorded this video before and it got corrupted, so I'm doing it again. And so, Air tweeted out the original, and I do mean the original thumbnail for Dokkan Now. And as you guys can tell, it's a big difference because on this one, it looks like you have Saiyan Saga Goku and over here they changed the dynamic saga goku so there's been a big speculation right now and before you say anything or anything like that i thought that this was already I, I thought this art was already in the game and i went searching and looking for this one and i thought it was this guy for a second because i thought it was the one that you get for summoning for the world tournament banner and stuff like that i thought it was that but it is clearly clearly not so that looks like new art for Goku, and this is not Saiyan Saga. This is the start of Saiyan Saga. This is Goku versus Raditz. So maybe possibly Goku versus Raditz sometime after. Uh, well, Goku and Piccolo versus Raditz. So I know we already have that Goku and Piccolo LR card, but you know we have a spicy unfeatured Raditz. We ain't got no Doken Fest Raditz. We ain't got no LR Raditz. So this should be quite, quite insane. And I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a whole lot of speculation. Like I could literally make a whole video just speculating on this card and stuff like that. Like matter of fact, I've been on stream and talking about a full, you know, Saiyan Saga sort of celebration and stuff like that. So possibly some people are looking, linking this to be somewhere around the seventh year anniversary or so. I'm kind of, you know, up on fence on that one because I still think it'd be Goku and, um, and Vegeta or so so I'm thinking if, if we do get this at some point that's pretty damn impressive and I would be extremely excited for that one but the fact that they literally took it off like they took it off <laughs> okay like and switched it to this one quick quick it's very alarming should be ringing some bells in people's head like wait a minute so <laughs> uh i don't know I don't, I don't know like i said i could make a whole video talking about that but i won't continue to do it so much on this one because again i don't like for these informational videos to be too long because i know some people as soon as it gets over you know a little bit of a time 
everyone starts, you know, and start watching. So for this one right now, yeah, 28th pretty much confirmed for it. And they, I think they have the live stream up or so like that. So there's probably going to be people going in there every now and then over the days and stuff like that, getting hyped and stuff. They're pretty much just building and building and building. But the hype does start because we haven't seen the units. B jump scans didn't show the units. Nothing. Nothing. Like, to me, and I know a lot of people probably out there, I may even do a community post about this, but to me, the more I don't see the units, the more hype I get. Because if I already see what the units do and know, then when they reveal them in Dokkan now, it's like, oh, you know, I already know, I already seen what they do, so it's less hype. But the fact that I don't know what they are yet, I haven't seen them, and no one else has either, that this is what I like the most. This this is the real hype. And this is why I say the Worldwide Celebration is better because the longer they keep the units in the dark for both versions, the better it is. So we already, I mean, we should already know it's gonna be Goku and Frieza, but the fact that we, oh, you know, we ain't seen no arts, we ain't seen no super attacks, we ain't seen no voice actor skill, we ain't seen nothing. So I'm extremely, extremely ecstatic for that one. If you guys are new, Again, subscribe turn on notifications let me know in the comment section below how hyped you guys are if you will be sticking tuned for dokkan now next friday other than that stay safe god bless and i'm out peace